Hey, what's up guys? This is Yazan Suleiman. Today, I'm going to talk about how to set up Unity project to interact with Google Play Game Services. Okay, I'm just logging now. I will let you see the result of my own work that the Google Play Services is working perfectly. If anyone have any problem, please contact me or comment below with the log file so I can help you to solve your problem. Okay, I'm just waiting for that to pop up and that's it. Let's show the leaderboard. I'm using BlueStake for emulating this application. So BlueStake has some problem with Google Play Games devices, but it will work perfectly. Like you see, it's an empty score. I have nothing inside it. I'll just tap sometimes and then add the score and show the leaderboard. Okay, it will take some moments and that's it. Okay, let's come back to my own channel. If you watch this video, very big mistake I have done and you have to solve this problem before you have a bigger mistake in your life. This mistake is about signing the APK. When you upload the file in the app release, we have a small problem that we signed up with Google Play app signing. And if you see here, we have two different certificates. Having two different certificates will causing a big problem because the key for opening the Google Play Games devices or login to Google Play Games devices is the SHA-1. And to show the leaderboard, Google need to authenticate your certificate with the app certificate. So if you don't upload your own application and publishing it, it's not really going to work. So you need to publish your own application to make the leaderboard work. I advise you to choose between beta or alpha while you are testing your application. Okay, or just do like I'm done. You will see after some steps. Actual, here we will say opt out and then confirm. We will upload the APK. Yeah, just like that. And waiting. So remember that Google require you have upload the APK and publishing it in alpha or beta realized because if you don't done that, Google is not going to authenticate your application with the uh, Google Play Games services. So you can't show the leaderboard if you don't publish it in alpha or beta. After editing the beta realized, you need to make your store listening, your content rating and pricing and inspiration. And if you done everything here, you just can back to app release and just roll out the alpha or beta release. I'm just going to check, actually, I'm just going to use GSM check as a link it up. I done that actual before, like you see here. I delete my achievement actual, like you see, because I'm not going to explain it. And I just have one leaderboard that called score. Click get resource. And let's talk about the uh, Google Play Game Services plugin for Unity. I will comment, I will comment, actually not comment, I will add the link in the description below so you can download the plugin. Okay, you just go current plugin, current build. <laughs> actually, I'm sorry for Sometimes I'm saying something wrong. Okay. Come back to Unity and import the plugin into your project. You will have three folders like you see. Then go to Window, Google Play Games, then Setup, Android Setup. Okay, this here is the file where the reference for the leaderboard name and uh, achievement name. And here, we need to paste the resource that we got it from 
the letter board that's it copy and paste symbol and don't need actual to be explained we need the client id i actually add this it's not really affecting anything but you are not going to lose anything if you add it go to link it up open your app and then take this one here or oh, authentication client id i'm not gonna read that small part of thing and just paste it here and it clicks it up you will got two things the first one telling you their solution complete the second one telling you that the configuration was successfully and after that just build the application and you will have it right for ones who don't have the code I'll just make small snapshot on it it's actually a public code you will find it in any tutorial for Google Play Game services it's just the same here we have a button for login, it takes it for tab num and an integer for tab num and like you see this could have been explained with the comments one for debug and log enabled and one for the activate the platform here we have the login process I'm just really actually using only one button and using adding listener and changing the button takes it to make log in and log out button in one button and this for showing only one leaderboard if you want to show all leaderboards okay you just gonna uncomment that line and comment them by under <laughs> I'm sorry okay on add score it's actual symbol could not really need to be explained and the log out one and the on tab click it it's symbol code it's not really need to be explained okay here I don't just take some a simple look at my own GUI it's really simple and don't really need to be explained to okay I will zoom in let's look from a front actually maybe looking from back to be sure just we'll zoom in yeah I'm looking from back I'll switch to front yeah so we have a login button that don't have on a click listener because we done this in the script and we have the button for add score and show leaderboard and one for the tab okay this takes it for showing the tab num and this button is for that tab I'm sorry I'm just recording my voice after I'm done in the video so you will see me just looking sometimes and hanging on some sometimes just don't saying everything happen okay we'll come back here and close this we don't need it okay everything done correctly okay in the dashboard in the developer console you will have this tab here it's containing the key that used to log in into your own services it's using like I said before the SHA one okay we can't see actual actual the SHA one because we're changing the way we signing our application so we cannot see our own SHA num here there are a lot of more ways you can take that one and see it so I'm just going to complete I will just show you that the key here okay if you have any confidence with this key then you are not going to log in to your services okay mm, I don't know let's come back to the logo here there another problem if you have a confident with the certificate you will have this one cannot load key if you don't publish your game or if you have different uh, certificate it's going to give you this one or if you have a different app ID you will have this also everything is done here please don't forget to subscribe and like and share